हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोन एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन वी आर नॉट सीइंग मच डिस्कशन अबाउट द लोअर डिनोमिनेशन नोट्स but the cbi recent statements on tv highlight the challenges of stabilizing a currency they mentioned that the dinar is now stable and secure and it's clear that the monetary reform is progressing the focus on educating the public about these reforms suggests that the promised increase in purchasing power is imminent if this weren't the case such promises wouldn't have been made nor would we see the country experiencing the changes it is right now There's no indication that we're waiting until after the election for further developments. New York is working on removing the red tape imposed by the United Nations on certain Iraqi banks not participating in the monetary reform. These sanctioned banks may either remain sanctioned or be shut down, but this won't significantly impact the reform process, though it's a necessary step now. Let's discuss Iraq's budget and exchange rate. Many wonder why Iraq hasn't transitioned to an international exchange rate. Currently, Iraq maintains a fixed exchange rate of 1310 dinars to the US dollar, a rate that has remained stable. However, without moving to an international exchange rate, Iraq faces challenges in attracting foreign investment, which is critical for infrastructure development such as roads, schools, and hospitals. The concept of a real effective exchange rate rear is particularly relevant here. Unlike a fixed rate, a rear fluctuates based on various economic factors and provides a more transparent and realistic picture of a currency's value. Adopting such a rate could boost investor confidence, allowing them to gauge risks and rewards more accurately. However, due to past conflicts and instability, investors have been hesitant despite Iraq's budget being ripe with potential projects. Additionally, capital movement in and out of Iraq is heavily restricted. Businesses face challenges in receiving international payments, a situation that won't improve without a liberalized exchange rate. Iraq must decide whether to maintain a stable but limited exchange rate or move towards a more dynamic system that could stimulate economic growth. Transitioning to an effective exchange rate would require careful planning to ensure security for both locals and foreign investors. Government policy is crucial in this process. The decision makers need to confront these issues directly, as a fixed exchange rate is no longer sufficient. Building trust among local businesses and investors through increased transparency and regular financial updates is essential. Educating the public on exchange rates would also empower better decision making. Iraq's potential is immense, with rich natural resources, beautiful landscapes, and a young workforce. By embracing change and encouraging investment, the country could unlock a brighter future for all its citizens. So, what do you think? Should Iraq transition to an effective exchange rate or stick with the current system? Let us know your thoughts. And if you found this analysis interesting, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights into global finance.